Welcome to Moon Math and Science. In this video, let's go over the rule of ones. And it's used whenever you have an equation and one or two parts of the equation are changed and you want to see how it impacts the other. It does work with uh, work and power, simple machines, sounds and waves, and other equations you'll encounter in physics. Okay, basically, let's look at this example. How much will acceleration change if you double force? And you can follow these uh, steps. Let's rearrange for what we're analyzing. We're going to create a ratio of new to old, and then we're going to plug in the changes. So let's get started. Let's first, I'm, I need to move this up so I don't run out of space. Let's first, um, we're looking for acceleration because we want to know how much the acceleration changes. Okay, and so let's divide through by mass. Okay. Uh, the mass cancels, so we're left with acceleration equals force divided by mass. Okay, now we need to create a ratio of new to old. So let's plug in what we have new. We know that um, force is doubled, so force is 2 divided by nothing is mentioned about mass. So when nothing is mentioned amount, uh, about it, just plug in a 1. And we're going to place that over 1 over 1 because that is the uh, old and we're comparing it to it. So now 2 divided by 1 is 2. 1 divided by 1 is 1. And so we're going to have um, 2 times the um, original acceleration. So it's 2 times the original uh, force or value. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, let's take a look at this one. How much will force change if you double acceleration and we're going to triple the mass? Okay, so let's first, okay, it's already in the format that we need. Force equals mass times acceleration. Yes, that is an A. It's a little ugly. Okay, and, and so uh, remember we're going to create a, a ratio of new over old okay so let's try this so we want to know what happens to force when okay it says that acceleration is doubled so acceleration is doubled and we're going to triple the mass okay and then we're going to place that's the new and we're going to place that over the old which is one times one Okay, because well, that's what we're comparing it to. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So it's going to be 6 times the original force. So there we go. I hope that helps with the rule of ones. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.